Um, so let me just go ahead and making sure the live stream is working so people can tune in. Here we go. All right. Well, just to reiterate, so just to, all right, sorry, <laughs> just to reiterate, this is um, Andrew Huang here again for LPX Tech, and I am tuning in to the Samsung Galaxy Unpack 2015 event um, happening today, August 13th, 2015 at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to be watching this at the same time from around the world. So here we go. I mean, well, it, it looks like it's 11.03 right now, and they're running a little bit behind, but I gotta give a quick shout out to um, uh, Kim Mison for uh, pointing out to me that this event was going on. He reminded me. I totally forgot. I was entrenched in setting up my store that I totally forgot about the event today. So uh, we're gonna get going here. But today's a, a, a very exciting and potentially not exciting day for a lot of you because this event is going to be. Um, where we're going to find out officially what the new Samsung Note Galaxy Note 5 will hold, as well as if there will be a Galaxy S6 Edge Plus or if it will be a Note Edge. We'll find out um, those questions there, as well as if there's going to be the, the next Samsung Gear Watch, um, and at the same time, if they're going to bring out virtual reality again. So for me, I'm looking more forward to um, the next Gear Watch, Obviously, the Note 5 specs, and if they're going to continue with the Gear VR um, series, and if they plan on re releasing a retail version by the end of the year. Um, so, for some reason, they haven't started. They're not streaming yet for some reason on their site. So, we're just going to continue to wait and keep refreshing until then. Um, but the, a couple things that, you know, if you guys saw my, uh, my Note 5 leaked images videos, it looks like... Um, a lot of our fears have some of the fears have come true, and some of the and some of the speculations on the specs weren't too promising. Um, uh, so, so let me just let me just get to the let me get to another site here really quickly. We'll get going here. Oh. When Samsung released the first Galaxy Note, there we go. Some said All right, I was we on the wrong free. site. Apparently, they're doing it on YouTube. A pen. So. Let's just listen in. A giant screen, but we were not crazy. Well, maybe just a little. We saw a problem that we could solve. Customers wanted a great viewing experience. Yeah, that's what we got And to a know. device to get things done. The Note didn't just succeed. It created a category. Just two years ago at CES, yeah, we did. revealed a new concept, flexible display technology. We believed in that concept, so we bet big. An immersive screen that was beautiful and useful. And we have been so happy with the response from customers. They love dual edge experience. Yeah, that's that how we good. stay ahead of the curve. <laughs> nice we listen, pun. we learn, and we take a risk. We push ourselves to be first, and others join us. The technology spreads, making life better. That's true. With the oh, big quickly, the reason why you guys aren't seeing a live video feed of it, it's because but it's also true. Samsung has steady, like. Difficult work of progress. Piracy thing. They won't when allow we develop you to better cameras, their, their video, higher but resolution well, screens, the audio at least. batteries that charge it faster and last longer. That not only lifts Samsung, it propels the industry. Today, the journey continues in the largest screen category that Samsung created. Yes, yeah, Samsung After created, all, not Apple. Remember that, folks. Have grown more central to our lives. So it has the demand for larger screens. It's not complicated. Bigger screens are great for moving between emails and important files or scrolling through photos on social media. Just in general, or it's nicer to have a bigger movie. screen. <laughs> 
and we are still betting big. The fact is we are all using our smartphones in two major ways. As multimedia consumers. That's me, guilty as charged. as multitaskers. And multitasking, yes. Everybody does both, of course. Multimedia, multitaskers. Multitaskers also watch videos and have fun. I am a multitasker and very fun. <laughs> Just not <laughs> as much fun as others. <laughs> so we developed two devices. One ideal for multimedia consumer, the other that's perfect for the multitasker. Here we go, guys. If yes. you love to watch TV shows and clips on a brilliant display with the stunning audio. If you want the best camera for sharing photos and videos on social media. If you want a design that will stop friends in their tracks. We have the smartphone for you. Do you know? And Come on. if you want help managing your busy life, if you want to write down ideas and notes, no matter where inspiration strikes. If you want a device that's intuitive, you can do this now, folks, with the Note 4. Keep tough, that in mind. <laughs> so you can get things done. We have the smartphone for you, too. Ladies and gentlemen, right, the Galaxy go. S6 Edge Plus. Oh, okay, and the Galaxy no. Note 5. Ah, uh, so they, they, they just confirmed it. Here we go. <laughs> so the S6 Edge Plus is confirmed. No Note Edge. So essentially, what just happened now is well, let me look at the new Note 5 design. Projectable pen. There's no removable back. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, God. Well, they just lost a lot of customers. <laughs> look! At these two beautiful smartphones, oh, both devices offer an immersive viewing experience, but they fit right in the palm of your hand. So you essentially gave... The screens are bigger, but the phones are actually smaller. And How that's so? not all. What? What? We are also officially launching Samsung Pay. Oh, here now, it is, finally. with your new Note <laughs> or H Plus, you can use the only mobile payment system that's secured by Knox and tokenization. Hmm. That's simple and easy to use. Yeah, they've been, they've been talking about releasing Samsung Pay for a long time now. It's fine, it's and fine that coming And that will be out. accepted almost everywhere on day one. I couldn't be more excited by what we achieved with the Samsung Pay and with the S6 Edge Plus and Note 5. So please allow me to bring Justin to the stage to tell you more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Uh, there's a lot of talk about. I'm gonna write this down for now. We can go ahead and discuss this afterwards, guys. Thanks, JK. Back in 2011, Samsung had found success with the first Galaxy S. So we were excited about the potential of the S2. But we also felt that there were so many consumers out there that wanted a product that just didn't exist. We were missing something big. And that's what led to the first Galaxy Note. It was a breakthrough. Not just for us, That's what but got for me the over entire to Samsung industry. From Apple. <laughs> we face some doubt and market skepticism, and that's kind of an understatement. At the time, three and a half and four inch phones dominated the market. But we summoned the courage. We believed in the note. 
we knew that there was demand for a bigger display, a larger canvas that made more possible. Remember, they did. It they turns released out a Samsung we were right. Mega. Each new version of the Note has been more popular than the last, and Note users are among our most loyal fans. Well, we'll now, see about that. I now. might be biased, <laughs> but I love this thing. Why? A larger screen lets me do more on my phone. I can take notes in meetings, video conference with my colleagues, or collaborate in the cloud. More and more of us are using our phones in this way. Bigger screens have gone from nice to have to must have. Yeah, and a display, a normal, once called a gimmick, true. has now become the norm. We've never forgotten the fans who believed in the note, and we were inspired to make it even better. We call it the Note 5. So let's get into it. Yes, let's. We started by tackling what we call the paradox of size. It boils down to this. When you ask people what, they, what they're looking for in a phone, they'll tell you two things. They want a big, brilliant display, but they don't want a bulky phone. And that makes sense. Because your mobile phone is now the primary screen in your life. It's the first thing you look at in the morning and the last thing you look at before you go to bed. It's very true. Our lives have definitely but changed these days. A larger device may not be easy to use with one hand, and it may not fit in your pocket, especially if you wear skinny jeans, which I definitely don't. <laughs> Consumers were forced to choose between screen size and portability. At Samsung, we didn't think that was a choice you should have to make. So, we set out to design a phone with a big display in a sim slimmer, smaller package. Like the S6 Edge, the new Note flaunts the same design DNA. It's crafted with metal and glass, though now we've made the metal even stronger. It's thinner, smaller, and lighter than before. Okay. For the Note 5, we curved the glass on the back. The flat screen is great to write on, and the curved back makes it easier to use with one hand. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a reverse Ed6 edge, essentially. Now, <laughs> so the what Note wouldn't be did. the Note without the S Pen. Uh, it's the tool that helps you multitask like a pro in ways that you can't with any other device out there. That's true. It is to the note Pen looks what bigger, the mouse guys. is to the PC, making it an indispensable tool for creators. The new S Pen is better than ever. We designed it to be more solid and balanced in your hand. It's also more precise and sensitive, like writing with a ballpoint pen. Let me show you. By the way, we've added this little clicking mechanism to pop the pen right out. It's kind of satisfying, actually. First, we added the ability to write when the screen is off. Now, I've been using this feature, and it's awesome. Say what? Think about all the times you want to write down a phone number, a restaurant name, or subway stop. Now you don't have to unlock your phone and open an app. It's right there. Huh. We've also improved That's Air nice. Command, making it easier to use and more intuitive. Now the icon hovers for instant access to all of your S Pen tools from any screen whenever you have the S Pen out. Here I am accessing Air Command. I go into my files. Oh, nice. Look, there's a PDF. That looks nice. I open it, sign it, save it, and now I'm done. We've also improved other elements, like screen capture. Now you can capture a long list, like driving directions, from top to bottom in one big image, without having to take multiple screenshots. That. Is a it's nice a improvement. simpler way to gather ideas from the internet and save them for later. Now, 
The productivity doesn't stop there. I want to show you something what? that'll make your bosses love you. What? It's both a keyboard and a cover. What? Which is why we call it the keyboard cover. <laughs> what? See how the keys are ergonomically shaped? Makes it easier to type with such precision. You just turned it into a Blackberry. <laughs> what the hell? I bet they're gonna charge you like 80 bucks for it though. Hi, Mom. Now you can have it both ways. A large display and the rapid, accurate typing of a keyboard. That's... To fire off messages and emails. That's interesting. And when it's not in use, you can simply snap it on the back. Huh. And continue watching a video or teaming up with your friends in Clash of Clans. With this new note, you can use your fingers to navigate and play games. Use the S Pen to write and draw, or pull out the keyboard to bang out an email on the fly. Because the Galaxy Note 5 is so versatile, you can get more done. Now, to talk to you more about the S6 Edge Plus, I'm pleased to invite Elena Cotton to the stage. Thank you. Well, I gotta admit, that's interesting. Um, and just, to, just for you guys join. Oh, wow, I have people joining me live. Um, I just switched so you guys can watch the live feed, too. It just thank makes you, it Justin. easier for you guys. And thank you for that warm welcome. Let me tell you that's more about the keyboard. S6 Edge Plus and the journey that got us here. Two years ago, we decided to step up our game. We set a goal for ourselves to deliver superior display technology, a great camera, and best-in-class design. That's how the S6 Edge was born. A beautiful device with the most advanced technology ever found in a smartphone. The dual-edge design was unlike anything else out there. And we were so happy with the response. The curved display not only drew headlines, it also resonated with our consumers. But they still wanted a bigger and better screen. So we thought to ourselves, could we really combine a large display and a dual edge? Well, of course we can. Now we're bringing everything you love to the big screen. We improved both its features and design. This phone is elegant, understated, and finely crafted. Each detail was examined and re-examined when creating the S6 Edge Plus. The metal bezel is even more subtle and refined. And we've also added a new color to the lineup, silver titanium. I can care less about the so color, So you have guys. even more choices. I absolutely love this new design. Did you simply just make the phone bigger? <laughs> Part of what makes this device so great is its deceptively compact size. I can use the Edge Plus with one hand. And that's whether I'm scrolling through Instagram or pulling up a boarding pass because I'm late for a flight, again. The screen is bigger, but the phone actually is smaller. <laughs> Numbers don't lie. <laughs> that's this sleek phone <laughs> that's is pointless. an entertainment they're gonna, powerhouse. They're gonna they're gonna be launching it their phone in a couple of weeks. It intensifies your multimedia experience. Of course, it begins with a big, beautiful screen. We get it. The display is sharp and brilliant. And the curves create an added sense of depth. Take a look at this footage. The screen picks up on all the little details that bring your images and videos to life. Everything just pops. The secret lies in a high definition screen. The colors are deep, rich, and vibrant. Movies and games are simply stunning. 
What's the resolution? You'll actually feel like you're right there with the Avengers in their quest to vanquish evil. Or sitting courtside with your favorite NBA players. She's definitely off a. Uh, Everything she's off time. comes through so <laughs> true to life. Even when you're racing your friends, it's like you're in the driver's seat. Now, you can dive deeper into moments like this with the help of lush, authentic sound. Level On Wireless Pro, our professional grade Bluetooth headphones, enhance the acoustic depth and detail um, of your wireless these audio are, experience. These are headphones that I actually have to um, take a look at myself. More. Um, I'm also really excited about a new feature called live broadcast. As our digital lives continue to evolve, the way we share our moments is also changing. We used to think of status updates and photo sharing were real time, but now it's all about streaming these moments as they happen, straight like right from now. your phone. <laughs> sure, there are other video apps that can do that, but you need to figure out which app to download, sign up for a new account, and fingers crossed, your friends and family are signed up too. With live broadcasts, they don't have to. We have partnered with the most popular video sharing platform in the world. So now you can broadcast directly from your phone to YouTube. Wherever you are, your friends can come along. They can watch your videos live or catch up on your feed later. Hmm. Now, all of this goodness is now easier to access. Remember, you gotta be, you should have a, a Wi-Fi new feature and um, called Apps Edge. Uh, a good data plan. <laughs> a new feature that you can customize. You can swipe the edge to get to your favorite apps and contacts. Okay. Keeping what matters most right at your fingertips. That's, that's something From new. From any maybe. screen, not just a home screen, I can quickly reach my husband or daughter, or easily put my, pull up my messages, maps, and even Candy Crush. Yeah, Candy Crush. So that's it. A beautiful design, a brilliant curved display, and live broadcast. They're sugar coating right now. It's a sugar coating, sugar coating. part of how this the S6 is like, This is all Plus stuff that's already existing Makes your life right more stylish and fun. Now I'd like to invite Justin back to the stage to talk to you about the other features on the new Note and Edge Plus. Justin Dennison, come on down. The, the thing is, folks, you got to keep in mind that a lot of this stuff a lot of this stuff can just be downloaded in the new, like you know, the new uh, software Thanks, update. So, the Edge Plus we'll and the see. Note Five share the same industry-leading platform: a 5.7-inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display, the latest and greatest camera, and Samsung's pioneering charging technologies. It's Galaxy, reimagined, redesigned, and redefined. One problem out there today with a lot of devices is when you're doing a few things at once, which we all do, and you'll launch just one more app. All right, and boom, so DDR4, 4 gig memory is confirmed. Down. One of the main reasons for this is your phone just is screaming for more RAM. One or two gigs is not enough. So we've included four gigs of RAM on both models. This is the most amount of RAM we ever included in our phones. Thank you. Thank you. You'll be able to keep up with all of your messages, post once, updates once to your again, social networks, new. and this multitask is... to your heart's content. To use a technical term, these devices are crazy powerful. But how now, powerful? Every year, your wireless operator improves its LTE speeds which means so often your phone falls behind. These phones will support the fastest 4G LTE networks today and be ready for the upcoming rollout of LTE Category 9 network speeds. As these phones age, they'll keep up with the changing times. Hmm. Now, the camera is probably the most popular and important feature on any smartphone and we'll continue to set the bar. 
When we introduced the S6 camera, the toughest critics praised its performance. We can talk about specs. It, it was like one of the most saving the bottom features line of is the this. S6. Samsung's cameras are the best in the world. It got the highest DxO mark score in image quality. Take a look at these amazing shots. The low light performance. The detail. I gotta and the admit, color the, uh, my girlfriend has the S6, fantastic. and it is a good, it is a really beastly and we're still camera. Moving forward. Um, that is. As social networking evolves. That is evolves, true. That is definitely true. We're not on the just camera. communicating with photos. We're sharing the best moments of our lives through video. We want the only limit to be your imagination, not the quality of the video that your phone can record. That's why both phones can shoot in 4K. We were one of the first to introduce 4K shooting on smartphones, and we'll continue to help mobile filmmakers create awesome videos like this. It takes now, up a lot of memory, time, though, folks. So we've improved you know, the software-based having the ability to have an external VDIS SD card would definitely back, be helpful. It works with existing OIS hardware to further stabilize your recordings. Thank you. That's nice. Okay, actually, that's that's something I can I can appreciate. Now let's talk about side sync. Mobile phones are crucial to our lives but we still depend on our laptops, computers, and tablets. So we set out to connect these multiple screens to your smartphone in a way that's seamless and intuitive. SideSync is a really nice feature, With guys, if you haven't used it before. You'll be able to connect wirelessly and automatically, so you can easily drag and drop your files from phone to PC and back. Samsung makes products that improve the lives, even the lives of Mac users. That's right. <laughs> SideSync will support the latest Windows and Macs. Are you serious? <laughs> they they deserve a clap for me so on that everybody one. Everybody can sync up. Oh my gosh. Now, all these features and services are great as long battery. as battery. Here we go, guys. Charged. I think you guys have been talking about it. That's why Samsung has led the way with power saving mode, fast charging, and wireless charging built right into our devices. Today, we're going further. With the S6 Edge Plus and Note 5, we're bringing fast charging to wireless charging. Okay. Samsung is a pioneer here. Thank you. Actually, no, this is something I'm interested in because if they're gonna get We're not just trying back, to sell phones. Yeah. We're advancing the market. Charging speeds are the fastest we've ever supported. How With fast? wireless charging, you can go from empty to full in two hours. That's which is actually, an improvement that's of over 60 minutes, quick, guys. or yeah, about 30 percent. We can charge phones faster, faster this way than most phones out there can charge with a cable, even when they have a smaller battery. It's amazing. That's Charging your phone was a concern. Now it's an afterthought. It's a real differentiator for us. If you want a phone that lets you get through your day without always having to worry about that little battery symbol, stick okay. with us. But if you don't mind hunting for outlets and waiting for your, char your phone to charge slowly over hours, well, there are other companies that excel at that. And we're just getting started. Our goal is to create an ecosystem where your battery can be charged wirelessly anywhere. And we're on our way. Mm -hmm. Today, millions of consumers have this technology in their hands now. Our kids will think it's crazy that we once lugged charging cables around, scanning the walls for an open power outlet, and sat on the airport floor. They, they got me intrigued on this. Already. There are other companies investing in wireless charging as well, like Starbucks and Ikea, to name a few. It will eventually become the most common thing for you to simply place your smartphone on the table. That is actually shop, that is actually the future, folks. Desk, that is what that is what I believe in myself. And your phone will automatically charge. We're betting on a cord-free future. It's why the new Note and Edge Plus come with built-in fast wireless charging. 
perhaps one day other manufacturers might think it's as necessary as well Wi-Fi. So there you have it. But the thing is, that technology Two is new not amazing available phones. in the market right the now. The Galaxy though. S6 Edge Plus, so. a device that takes your multimedia experience to the next level. And the Note 5, a perfect companion that truly empowers you to simply get more stuff done. He completely just brushed over the battery Both the life. Note 5 and S6 Edge Plus are ready for whatever life throws your way. Yeah, I think you guys are thinking and that too. You don't have to wait long for these products. They'll be available in stores in the U.S. and Canada on August 21st. Yes, you heard that correctly. Oh my gosh! They didn't. They didn't talk about the battery size. They That's didn't talk week. about the battery capacity. Oh wait, there's more. And U.S. pre-orders start today at 3 p.m. It's been a real privilege to talk to you more about the Galaxy Note 5 and S6 Edge they, Plus. They completely just now, brushed over battery life. I want to Hold invite In Jong Ri to the stage to speak to you more about a service that I know all of you want to hear more about. Thanks again. All right, so just quickly before the next person comes out, um, the, the they're, they're betting on getting rid of the removable bag and the battery because of wireless charging. Um, I'll talk about more of that later, but. Big crowd today, yeah. Thank you, Justin. Um, I'm here to talk about Samsung Pay. Yay! You know, you're releasing it. Four and the exciting late. future of mobile payments. We set out to develop a solution that is simple, safe, and open to all businesses, large and small, not to mention fun to use. In my wallet, I have lots of uh, plastic cards, right? Credit cards, debit cards, membership cards, gift cards, oh, department store cards. I have a lot of cards on uh, keychains too. A lot of cards. I'm sure you have a lot of them too. People are so accustomed to swiping their plastic card for payments, as practically every store in the world has Mac Stripe card readers. They already so, talked about this during the last event earlier. How do you make consumers transition from the old habit of swiping cards to using smartphones instead? That is the problem. That is the problem my engineers and I set out to solve. It is a challenge that requires a lot of ingenuity and creativity. Most of the existing mobile payment solutions rely only on NFC, which is fine technology, but most stores don't have it. If consumers always have to second guess whether a store accepts mobile payments, it creates a mental block or friction that makes it so hard for them to let go of the old habit of swiping cars. That's why not everyone is going to Apple Pay. The first step to creating a new heavy changing lifestyle. It's not about being first in the market, but about creating a compelling technology that removes this type of friction. That's the basic philosophy of Samsung Pay. Okay, essentially, they already talked about it earlier this year. It's pretty much like you can just go ahead and swipe the phone on. Since the S6, a magnetic strip, and it'll act like a debit Our card. select flagship devices come with. Brilliant invention. It allows Samsung Pay to work at almost all Mac Stripe card readers, as well as NFC and barcode readers. The experience is amazingly simple and fast. It is just like a swiping a card. No, I mean, not plastic card. I'm talking about smartphones instead. Samsung Pay is accepted 
virtually anywhere. That is true. It though. works at the yep. big chains. It also works at even your local. Let me get this right. Fruit stores. <laughs> that will be my day. Yep. If retailers, as a rule, as a rule, if retailers can swipe a card, most likely they will accept Samsung Pay. Isn't that nice? So the technology behind that is basically it, it works with the magnet reader. We have in a the partner with devices. American Express, MasterCard, Visa, Bank of America, Citi, and U.S. Bank, to name just a few. The list of partners growing every day. Half that list is in all addition, Korean companies, by the way, guys. <laughs> I'm proud to say that Samsung Pay is the first mobile payment solution in the industry to support store branded credit cards. Over a hundred thousand retailers. Interesting. Oh, I almost forgot. Let me ask. Have you ever forgotten to bring your membership cards or gift cards when you need them at the store? I don't know about you, but it happened to me a lot. Well, I was able to use it in my Samsung wallet. But not that I have a lot of gift cards or membership cards. For some cards. reason, I just hate to carry them. Yeah. Now I uh. won't have to, because most of these cards are based on Max drives I, all right. or barcode based. <laughs> Samsung Pay can easily support them. They really gotta get better English speakers. No to more these presentations. worries. Just to bring your Samsung smartphone. I understand why they bring out the, Your the wallet's company gonna miss you. executives to talk and everything, but <laughs> this is just way too slow paced, not Finally, exciting I at all. I want to point they out, really need to bring out better Samsung Pay is a safe. Samsung Knox, Knox is our industry leading hardware-based security system. Knox is pretty powerful, guys. Pretty, it protects it's... Samsung Pay from malwares. <sighs> making it one of the safest wallet solutions in the industry. To give you even more peace of mind, we make sure we do not store or transmit your credit card or private information during transactions. Mm -hmm. Each transaction uses one-time use security code Instead of your credit card information, we worry about your security, so that you can live your life worry-free. That is actually a very unique way to do it. That's actually a good way to do it. Okay, yeah. here it comes. Here's the million dollar questions. When can you use it? On August 20th, hey, it will be we, going live. We finally have a date, in guys. Korea, and will be available in the US on September 20th. Oh, come on! Why a month later? I don't want to carry my stupid key cards anymore. Followed by China, Spain, UK, and other countries in the near future. There, there, there's uh, like four months behind so, on this. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's Samsung Pay. Let's we'll talk about that afterwards as well. It's a simple, safe, and more than anything else, accepted virtually anywhere. Thank you, everyone. I now have the pleasure of inviting Elena back to the stage. Oh, not this lady again. Oh, she has like no personality. Oh, Samson, why do you do this to us? Oh. Thank you, Injong. We set out to raise the bar in the category we pioneered. And I think we stayed ahead of the curve. But we're just getting started. The puns are annoying. <laughs> Samsung is always looking for that next advance, that next breakthrough. And we'll get there the way we always have, by being open, by listening, and learning from our consumers. And frankly, by not being afraid to bet big on the future. Today, we revealed a device that's curved. 
But what's next is just around the corner. Talk about the gear. There we go. There's the watch, folks. It is confirmed. It is a circle design. Let's see what this new watch has in store for us, folks. Let's see. Oh, Apple users. This is not a new Apple watch or anything, all right? This is Samsung's like... What? No! Right? You're not gonna talk about it now? And that's the Gear S2? Oh, Samsung. Samsung, why? We'd like to invite all of uh, our friends and partners to join uh, us, to develop with us, to be a part of what's next. We can't wait to show you more in Berlin this September. And for those uh, of you watching online, stay tuned for a quick tour of the product experience zone. Thank you so much. It's been a blast. Are you kidding me? Is that it? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is that it? Wow. Wow. Oh my god! I'm sorry if the mic's exploding right now. Oh, are you kidding me? That has got it. Okay, hold on. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to just... Wow! Alright, well, I'm not sure if this video is going to get um, cut off um, by Samsung because, you know, they're, they're pretty anal about... Uh, let, letting people, you know, re-up their streams and everything. But wow, wow, wow. I just cannot believe what just happened here. So if you guys just missed my little reaction, I might show a little clip of it if I have to re-edit this video and re-upload it. But I'm definitely going to re-upload this video because holy crap, was that press conference un oh, forget, let me take this off. Was that press conference a nightmare? Oh my gosh. I cannot believe all the... They just, they lost, they just lost. They lost. <laughs> They didn't talk about so many things right now. But let's talk about what just happened at the end of the conference. So, I've been patiently waiting for the Gear S2. And, and when they were talking about the Gear A and the Gear Orbis, oh, okay, they're going to make another circular design to fit that market, and they're going to roll with that, and they're going to release the Gear S2 later on. But yes! A commenter just said, "Which I was robbed. I was robbed. Are you kidding me? So you're gonna keep this old? You're just gonna go with the round vert? Like ah? Oh. Now I before you go judging me, I know a lot of people might be happy about the round design because that might suit them, and the OS might be better. But the thing is, folks, that's that that's just that's just stupid." Oh my gosh. But alright, the watch can be sa saved for another time. But let's talk about the S6 Edge Plus and the Note 5. And, uh, and let's talk about the stuff that they didn't talk about in the entire press conference. So number one, they didn't talk about processing speed. What processors are they using? How fast is it going to be? They didn't talk about that at all. Number two, let's talk about uh, okay, battery life. They didn't talk about battery life whatsoever. They just talked about how they brought in a bigger battery and fast wireless charging. Now, in their defense, the future is going to be wireless charging where literally every surface in your house is going to have wireless charging. So you can go ahead and just put your, your phone down and it will charge everywhere. That is thinking ahead. That is the future. But Samsung, the future is not right now. You don't eliminate certain functions and hardware and functionality that people are used to having and, and just take it away. I understand that you guys want to push forward, but the thing is, it's not, it's not everywhere. It's not anywhere right now. So people are still going to want the removable back to swap out batteries and stuff, and people are going to want fast chargers. You did not talk about how fast your new, your, your new phone charges with wired fast, fast charging. You didn't talk about that. And number two, you didn't talk about your battery life at all. Is it going to consume more with the new tech, or is it going to consume less? They didn't talk about that at all. So that's, that is, that is definitely, that is definitely why, that is disappointing. I cannot believe they didn't talk about that. 
And the thing is, the tech reviewers are going to have a field day with this phone. And number two, let's talk about the memory. They did not talk about any of the category memories. They didn't talk about pricing. They didn't talk about what sections they had. It was it going to be 16, 32, 64, 128. They didn't talk about pricing at all whatsoever. And the thing is, no no removable back, no SD card slot, folks. So all their talk about, oh yeah, by the way, all their talk about live streaming, 4K video um, recording and everything, you're going to be limited to the onboard memory. So you're not going to, oh my God, I cannot believe this. So you're, you're going to, you're, you're going to, you're mean to tell me I have to buy the phone that is three, $400 more expensive to get the bigger memory to handle all the stuff I want to do. I can't simply buy, simply buy the 32 gig version by a 128 gig SD card. This is just so stupid. I, I cannot, I cannot believe they did. So they removed that function. And the thing is, so when you go ahead and talk about increased mobile data uses, increased recording, increased camera capabilities and stuff, you need more memory. Obviously, they don't give a damn. So, wow. So they just lost, I'm going to tell you right now, they just lost a handful of customers including myself and I'll, I'll get onto that later on um oh, oh my gosh and yeah and ram they they with the s6 put, put it this way with the s6 announcement earlier this year they at least talked about the improved performance the what what processors they were using they talked about all that but damn they did not talk about any of that at all that is just and number two, guys, it looks like they gave up on the Gear VR. They didn't talk about the Gear VR whatsoever because we were waiting. And the thing is, that leads into the next thing about um, screen resolution. They didn't talk about screen resolution at all. Is it a 2K screen? Is it a 4K screen? We will, Well, we're, I'm going to have to personally wait for um, uh, the actual specs to be released online. But it looks like they don't care anymore. It, it's like... It's like if they if if they were going to pursue the Gear VR, they would have brought out a 4K screen. But it looks like they just gave up. And th that is very unfortunate because you know what's going to happen now? Apple's going to jump in. And then Apple's going to be the one saying, oh, we're the innovators of virtual reality. And they're going to take over. So seriously, what the freak? Oh, my gosh. So they didn't talk about that. Very disappointing on that aspect. Um, oh, yeah. Let's talk about some of the gimmicks. Um keyboard okay that's that might be nice for some people but uh, okay it's a nice little gimmick i'll give him that but let's but okay let's 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 also talk about the whole s6 edge plus and note 5 being separate why was that why the hell would you do that because you just isolated a part of the market. So many people were willing to look the other way if you gave, if you removed the removal back in SD card. So many people were willing to look the other way if you just released a Note 5 Edge. But yet you release the S6 Edge Plus and it doesn't have any of the functionality as the Note. Seriously, what the hell? What the hell were the people over there thinking? Oh my gosh, like. Like I can go on and on. This is like this is a raw this is a raw reaction rant, folks. So if you hate it, whatever. This is just ridiculous. I cannot believe that. Like, and essentially what the Note Five is, it's a reverse S six Edge because they just curved the back screen so it'd be comfortable in the hand. That's fine. I would have preferred if they gone both ways with the Note, but you know me personally, if I were to buy any of the two, I would buy the S six Edge Plus if it came with the Note functionality and the pen but unfortunately they did not they didn't add any of that like this is just ridiculous so let me just go over again so they they barely went over the ram processing memory screen resolution they completely glanced over they gave up on gear vr um they didn't talk about battery life oh my gosh like i just cannot the designs too they're not original they're, they're just following the their, their um their s6 design like what's going on samsung like your note devices always distinctly look different from your flagship phones not the same you're becoming apple no i don't need another apple in my life 
I might now you you just literally oh you just literally pushed me away and now now the only companies I have to look towards for innovative designs slightly at all is LG and Motorola. Like what the hell? Oh my gosh. Uh Man. All right. Well, let's take a Yeah, let's well yeah, I mean, well comment just said they're pretty much just because the, the the no five is pretty much just the specs are gonna be similar to the S six. No, the 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 note devices are supposed to be stronger than the flagship devices. That's how the that's how the release cycled worked. Wow, that that is just so stupid. They just lost a lot of sales, in my opinion. There, that this is such an underwhelming press event. Um, let's okay, let's talk about some good stuff. Apparently, side sync. Which is a nice little app, by the way. It really is, because you can actually access your phone through your computer and click and drag files, and that makes it a lot easier. So you don't have to like, you don't always have to personally wire, you don't have to wire connect your phones and everything. And the fact that they allow Mac users to do the same, that's a nice little jab at them. But the thing is, that's not a make or break sell. That's just that's such a that's such a minute thing. Um, Samsung Pay. It's a little, it's a little late, guys. Like you were, I thought you guys were released this months ago. You got rid of the Samsung Wallet app, which is where I kept all my gift cards and all my uh, membership cards, and you got rid of it in June to let me to tell me that I can't have it for three months. That is stupid. You should have waited until I. You should have waited until the September September month to get rid of Samsung Wallet and then introduce Samsung Pay. Yet you give me three months without the functionality that you teased me with. I have to use a third party app to use my gear ass with. That's just stupid. I mean, the the one advantage of Samsung Pay, Samsung Pay folks, you have to understand, it is universal pay, which is better than anything that Visa Pay has, Google Wallet, or Apple Pay has. They actually have a better mobile payment system. That's the one thing you gotta give them. Um, it's because they, it is true. You can't just give someone new tech and expect everyone to adopt it. You got to give them the all-around approach. So I do understand that. And the thing is, so, it's so for just like Apple Pay and Google and Google Wallet, you can go and tap it on the you know compatible devices. But on the top of that, you can go ahead and swipe. Uh, you can select your phone and you can swipe your phone along a credit card reader, just like just any any. Um, any credit card readers that exist today. So that's universally said piece of what it does is um, there's a chip inside the phone that um, talks with the magnetic reader on the credit card devices and that's how it makes it work. So um, I'm calling my stuff down here. That is actually one, that's, that's probably the one redeeming factor of this press conference. They, oh my gosh, they didn't even talk about the camera quality. They didn't even, I mean, I'm going back. I'm sorry if this rant's like misguided right now, but they, the um, they completely brushed over the even the camera specs. They talked about, okay, we improved it by what? Did you improve? Did you improve clarity? Light the how much light it can absorb? What like whatever the megapixels? I don't, I don't know. They didn't talk about anything. They didn't talk about any specs of the phone today. And I can tell you this right now, when Apple does their presentation. They're going to literally talk about everything that Samsung didn't. <laughs> I won't be surprised if Apple goes ahead and announces their new watch and a virtual reality unit this year. This is so this is so this is so disappointing. I'm sorry, Samsung, you completely botched this presentation. And oh, by the way, your presentation, you need some new presenters. I understand that you want to have the president of your company, like Tim Cook does for Apple, come on out and talk and everything. But when you can't speak the when you can't speak the language you're presenting in very fluently, and I'm Korean, folks, so I'm not being racist at all. When you can't speak the language that you're presenting in very well, you can't really make it exciting. You know, even the lady come, even the lady that spoke, nothing against her. She could have been, she wasn't even on cue. Like if you saw the video, she wasn't matched up. Like it's just you. You have such you have such a poor freaking marketing team. I can't wait to make my dear Samsung video because now I have more fuel to add to the fire to you guys because they they have they have no personality anymore. 
I, I can I think that's that's the best way to sum up the presentation. There was no personality, Samsung. Oh my gosh. So I'll put it this way. Let's just sum up this presentation right now. I've been a Note user since the Note 1. So Note 1, 2, 3, 4. I've had them all. I've had the Gear 1. So the Gear 1, Gear 2, Gear Fit, and the Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, the Gear, sorry, the Gear S2. I've had them all. They may have just lost a customer. So... For those of you expecting to see a Note 5 review from me, I'll put it this way. Right now, I am strapped for cash in general because I just opened up my business. I am not going to go out of my way to get this phone. If Samsung, if you want to send me a phone, which I don't think this video message will ever reach you, you might actually just ban this video for all I care. Um, they may, like, I won't be, I won't be using it. This is, this is, this is so disappointing. I, I cannot believe this is so disappointing. They just lost me as a customer. Bar none, period. Done. Wow. I'm sorry guys. Like this is this like I, I there's just so many things going through my mind with this press conference right now. Very, very poor, very poor execution, very poor presentation. Wow, they just What the hell are you guys thinking? Wow. Okay, but like, sorry, there's there's so many things I want to say, but I'm going to end up repeating myself. But that is my opinion, guys, right now. But um, uh, if you I would like to hear I would like to hear your guys' opinion. Will any of you actually be pre-ordering it and getting it for yourself? Are any of you actually excited about this about this phone? I'd like to hear your comments down below um, in your feedback, really, um, depending on which version of the video you're watching of this. I might have to re-edit this, actually. Um, I would really love to hear your guys' opinion because this is stupid. And the thing is, I'll, I'll, don't worry. I'll make a video on their new Gear S2 because no, 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 Samsung. <sighs> but yes, folks. Yeah. Very, very, very disappointing press conference. Very half-assed. I'm sorry. Sorry for my language, but very half-assed presentation. Very underwhelming. No effort whatsoever. They've become. They've become Apple. They become. This, they become a baby brother to Apple. Good job, Samsung. You've just lost another customer. Thank you. All right. Well, once again, leave a, leave a comment down below. Please go ahead and leave a thumbs up if you agreed with me. Um, if you're going to leave a thumbs down, please leave a thumbs up for the fact that you just, you just don't like me. All right, fine. I'll take it. I don't care anymore about you trollers out there. I really can give a damn. This is, this is, just, this is just bad. Wow. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm being very aggressive right now, guys. This is just my... Uh, I am just so fired up because of this presentation. <laughs> All right. Well, once again, please leave a comment down below. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more future videos like this because you're going to actually be seeing a, a newfound, newfound video content on my channel coming up after I open up my store. So there's that. So thanks for watching, guys. If you guys joined in during the live stream, thank you very much for, um, for popping in. And uh, I'll see you guys in my Dear Company videos, my Dear Company rants, essentially. So take care, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Ooh.